Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to install these guys on your wall. And even if you're watching this maybe for another brand, then it's okay. It's pretty much the same thing for all of them. Anyways, to get started, what we have to use are some of these tools. So you guys will need screwdrivers, you guys will need something like this, doesn't have to be the same thing, and something to cut wires with. It doesn't have to be exactly this tool, just something to cut wires with. So before we even get started, I want to show you guys what the light here will mean. So this right here will light up. And for example, if the, um, this Wi-Fi light is red, it means the switch is on, okay? If this right here is light blue, once we plug it in, then it means that it's off standby state. When the Wi-Fi signal light is flashing green, the switch is in a state of fast distribution. However, when it's flashing green slowly, the switch is in AP distribution network state. And if you guys see a steady green light, that, that's actually a bad thing. That means that it cannot connect to the network. I know it almost doesn't make sense that a steady green light would mean that, but that's exactly what it means. It cannot connect to the network. So just want to mention that before we get started. So even before we do anything, we do, this is gonna be our end product. So we're gonna place these right here. And as you guys can see, they don't fit. That means we have to cut one of these corners. So let's just take a look. We're gonna place them like so. That means I have to cut this corner out and they're meant for that. So if you guys can see on the sides, it's gonna tell you that those sides are meant to be taken out. So to take them out or remove them, we can just do this. You can just take this and move it around. And we do have to do that for all the sides. So at this point, if I place this down here below, it should actually just fit fine. So right now, you guys can see it's a fit kind of like this. If there's still a gap in there between the two, it shouldn't be there. So that means we actually have to take out these sides as well. So we're gonna do exactly that. So yes, it's only by pressing and just wiggling it around. I'm not cutting it. So I'm placing this guy right here, plus this guy right here. It should be just okay. So as you can see, it should fit something like so. So it should be totally flat, not one on top of the other. And that's why we cut those ends. So that's just to start off with. So we're ready to place these. So once again, they should look something like this right now, totally flat. And now before we keep going with anything else, now take your phone or your tablet, anything really, go into the app store and you will search for Smart Life. Once you search for that, it's gonna look something like this. So see that right there? So if you can click on it, open it up, you guys can see Smart Life and that's where we have to download. So let's just press on get and we are gonna download this. Now this is a free app, so don't worry about it. And I would do this on your phone, tablet. It's good to have it on your tablet as well, but you guys can do it anywhere. Right now I'm doing it on my tablet so you guys can see it better because it's a bigger screen. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And it's good to have this portion of the setup done before we even plug this in, just so you guys can see how it is. So you guys can log in, sign up now, or try now. What you should do is sign up now. So if you don't have an account, go ahead and sign up now. We don't have to agree. Just register under whichever country you guys are at, USA, Canada, anywhere. Um, then just put in your email address. So once you do that, you will get this message saying enter verification code. So just go into your email and put in that verification code up here. So I went into my email and this is how the verification code looks like. Your code will be different. So this is kind of useless to you. So make sure to go to your own email and look at verification code. Once you do that, it's gonna prompt you for a password. So right now set your own password. Don't use the same password as in your email, for example, use a different one and make it unique. Right now you might see a lot of prompts, just allow them for now. You can take these off later on. Again, we're just gonna press okay. Okay on Bluetooth and we're ready to go. So at this point in time, you guys can see add device. So we can't do that just yet. So right now we're done with the setup. We're ready to plug that in, set that up, and then we can just add device once that turns on. All right, so now we're gonna look at where we're gonna set this up. So it's right here. 
So we have to take out these screws. And before we do anything, make sure to turn off the power. So we're just gonna start off with taking these screws. Again, power should be off right now. So you should go down to your basement if you guys have a house, turn off the power so there's no electricity running through here. Now once we take this off, before you disconnect anything, okay? So we will be taking these out. I want you to take a picture of how everything's connected. And that way you guys have a good reference if you need to put this back at any time. So what we want to do is take out one at a time. So we want to set up this guy first and then go for this one right here. So you may notice some pretty tricky connections, which isn't really. This one just connects up to this one because it just makes sense. It's this whole connection that we have here. Now at this stage, we should move all the wires around so we can see clearly what's in here. I can see here, there's my ground over here. Now from what I can see with my particular case that my ground wires are very, very small. So that means I'm gonna need to stretch that out so I can hook up my new connection. Now here's what we want to accomplish. And this is the reason why I need my grounding is would be the green. Uh, we do have the white and when we do have our live and load over here. So again, always take a look at the diagram and follow it as you see it. So what I'm gonna need in my own case is some extra wire. So here's some extra wire. I'm just gonna cut it around here. So inside that cable, I have these three, exactly what I need. Black, white, and right here, my ground. So as we work on that, we have to get this ready. So with a screwdriver, we're just gonna Unscrew this a little bit. Okay, just make sure it's nice and loose. I'm gonna do that all the way around. How this works is pretty easy. So, looking at our diagram, neutral, which would be our white, would go right in here. So once that's right in there, then and only then, we actually tighten this up. Okay, so this will stay and it's not gonna come out. Then all we have to do is just connect this up here and like I mentioned we're gonna do one by one so we're gonna do this one first and then the other one so what we have to do at this point is just copy what's happening here with this whole connection so this one's connecting up to this one and so on we're just gonna copy that over so as mentioned we are doing one by one just to keep that and not to screw anything up <laughs> And of course, you guys took that picture of this whole connection before getting started with this. So we're just gonna unhook these two cables from here. So to take that out with a really small flat head, usually works well. We're just gonna press that in here. Once we press that, we can just pull this cable up and it should just pop out. Sometimes it's pretty hard to do, sometimes it's easy. So let's hope this one's easy. There we go. It wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but it came out. Obviously, if you can have some help with this, it's gonna help out a lot. But you can do it one hand. So one hand presses, and with your finger, you kind of just pull it out. So that means at this point, we're just gonna connect our live, which would go, actually our load would go right here. So load goes right there. So we're just gonna lock that side. We're gonna press this one here live. So you guys can feel it or you guys will hear something when it goes all the way in. And then you guys can just tighten it up. So that's the connection right now. So you guys can see these two are connected. That's connected, my ground. Just have to hook this up to here like I mentioned from before. And then our ground is on the back. So at this point, I'm just gonna move this one away. I'm not connecting the ground just yet and the white cable, I'm gonna leave that. And I'm just gonna move on to these wires here. So again, you just have to take them out. Um, this one, for example, is just on the side, so it's easier. It's just with a screwdriver. So it looked like two cables, but it's actually just one that went through here and then went up to that one. We're gonna do the same connection on the new thing. So we have our cables loose, we're just gonna go ahead and just bring them up. So my load would be this right here plus this guy. 
and then here's my life on the other side. Just make sure that you're putting this the right side. So these guys should be going this way. There we go. And before we tighten that up, we're gonna place that in here on the side. So we can't place cables on the side, by the way. So finally got this to go in there. It was kind of tricky the cables. Other than that, everything looks okay. Now comes the easy part, which is just hooking these guys up. Just all the whites will go together. So right here, white, white. We'll go up here, okay? So that will be connected there, all the whites, plus all my ground cables, which are right here, will go to the back where all my rest of the ground is. Now for some of you, this might be green, by the way. Now just an edit I'm gonna do right now, just because the cables were a little too short and all that. I am just gonna switch around my life and load from this one, my initial setup, so just everything makes sense. And make sure as you're doing this, again, we are viewing that this is upwards, and it's no big deal if you do it the other way around, it just looks nicer if the Wi-Fi goes up. At this point, we're putting the ground together and we're gonna put that first because that's all the way in the back and then this right here the white cable it's the easiest one because it's all the way out here so that's okay I know it's a little hard to see but what I did was just hook this up back there with the rest of the ground it was kind of difficult and I can't really move my camera in there so to make sure it's really tight and before I close all this up as well I'm gonna try that this is actually working so I don't want to close this and then find out that I have to take everything back out just to make sure that everything's connected right. Sometimes it gets loose once you push it in. So that's why it's good to push it in but not put the plate on it just yet. So just a quick note, if you guys don't have these, um, they just make your life easy. But maybe once you guys open this up, there's tape. You can use tape. And right now, because I added these, I know there's this exposed wire here. I don't like that myself, so what I do is put some tape around there. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So the tape itself, you guys can get this from the dollar store. So the tape does have to be electrical tape, so just make sure you're getting the right one. And I just cover that up because I don't like exposed wire. And uh, then we're just gonna push it in. So as we push this in, things can get loose. And that's why I usually don't like to put this plate over just yet um, before I test everything out. However, everything seems to be okay. So we did get these two brand new screws from a package. However, we can use the old ones. And this will go down here below. I'll just show you where. So right here, it's gonna go one, and then the bottom one. So we're gonna start off with this one. So for the bottom, I used the old one because it didn't fit. The new one did not fit down, um, down here. So I had to use the old screw. So once you place those screws, you guys can just go ahead and place this over it. And to finish that off, we have these screws that came in with your plate. So at this point in time, get your iPhone, iPad, whatever you guys have with your app ready. And we're going to turn on the power and hopefully these two will have some light. So as soon as we turn on our power, we should see these blinking like so. So just make sure that's actually happening. That means we do have some power running through this. So at this point, what I recommend is holding this down for 20 seconds until this happens. However, it's already happening. So let's go back into our app and everything's gonna be from there. At this point, we're gonna add a device and uh, yep, we're gonna add that on. So right here, we're gonna get a lot of options. And in this case, this is a Wi-Fi switch. So just scroll down, you can see switch, Wi-Fi. And we're gonna go ahead and select our network, which is this right here, add in our password. Once we put in our password, let's just go into next. We are gonna save this password. So we can see that it is blinking quite fast. So one, two, three, it's blinking quite a few times. So we're just gonna go on and go on to next. And we should see this scanning. So it should be scanning for this at this point in time. And we should see this message prompting. So ensure that Wi-Fi signal is good. Ensure that device is powered on. So just after a bit, we should see this. So switch to and then switch. This is fine. I'm just gonna leave it as is for now, hit done. 
So switch two and just switch. We're pretty much done at this point in time because we just added them and we can just click on them for example. And right now we can turn on and off or we can just go into other switch and turn it on or off. So you guys could see it's turning on and off. Of course my other switch you can't see because that's actually for outdoors. But other than that, we are all done. Uh, the last step would be to pair this with Google Home, if you guys have Google Home, which uh, we're actually gonna take care of that in our next step, since we're done with our basics for now. So before we get started with adding Google or Alexa into this, we should rename our switches to be what we want. So right now we do have two switches that's under Home, and what we're gonna do is tap on them and just tap on them again. And on top, you're gonna see this sign. So we're just gonna rename this to something that makes sense to us. So for example, switch two, you're gonna rename it to outdoor light because that's exactly what it is. So outdoor light, confirm. Once we do that, there's other stuff down here below. So for example, we have Alexa, Google Assistant, and so on. We can just go on and see more, okay? And uh, for this particular video, we're gonna do Google Assistant. Something else, if we sc keep scrolling down, and go all the way down, I wanna show you that you can remove this device from here, as well as updates. Updates is really good to know, so turn this on to automatically update. That's very important, actually, for both of them. You should turn on automatic updates. I usually tell you in my videos to never turn on automatic updates, but in this case, you will probably miss out a lot of updates if you don't turn that on. So we're gonna scroll up, we're gonna go into Google Assistant, we're gonna link this up. So down here below, we're gonna see link with Google Assistant. So we're gonna go ahead and press right there. Now what this will do is open up our Google Home app, and then it's gonna take us here. So we can link it up. So just type in your email and then your password. Once you put in your email and your password, that would be for this app, okay? Not your Google Home app, but your password for the app for the Switch. And then just press unauthorize. Now on your screen, you should see this. Outdoor light and then Switch. I haven't renamed that Switch yet. I will right now. Um, however, I just want to show you with this outdoor light. So we're gonna choose actually both devices. Let's just start off with this one. And we're gonna go into next. From there, it's gonna ask us to choose our home. Once we do that, just go over and choose which room or create a new room. So in this case, we do have front ER in here in the list. So we're gonna add that on, go into next. If you already have a room, then you're good to go. You don't have to select something new. And we can choose switch. So this switch is another one that's from the inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead, add that on, go into next again. I uh, choose my home and then from there it's gonna ask me where's this device so this one is actually my living room so I'm gonna choose living room and I'm gonna go into next by the way all of everything that we did right now we can always change later on so down here below we should see front yard and then living room I should see my switch so I can turn this on or off so right now we are all done. I can just say, hey Google, turn on lights, living room. And Google will also make that noise in the background as well. Or I can tell, hey Google, turn off lights, living room. So that noise is coming from my Google Home, not from the switch itself. Also your switch, you might notice that this is the steady light that you should have at this point. And when I tell it to turn on, hey Google, turn on lights, living room this will change. So you guys can see that only this one's that bluish color and this one isn't. Hey Google, turn off lights living room. There we go. And then it's back to this bluish light. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.